So I'm Second Lieutenant Grace Nielsen and I'm from the 135 Armor Battalion here at Fort Bliss. So right now I'm currently one of the female engagement team's OICs and I currently work the night shift from 01 to 1300. We understand that for females, it's not necessarily common for them to approach male soldiers or have male soldiers approach them. So to make it easier for them, we provide these female liaisons and personnel so that they can approach us with any issues that they have, any concerns, and just building that community outreach with the females and families in Donna complex. So it's mainly cultural differences, um, which is understandable. Um, a lot of these people for their entire lives, as well as uh, hundreds of years of cultural understanding, it's very different from America and how we operate. So we have to understand from their perspective the cultural shock that they're going through, um, but mainly how we mitigate these issues. A lot of it is sometimes we have older female guests here um, that may react negatively to the younger female guests um, in the way that they dress because they come from different regions. Afghanistan is very diverse in ethnic groups um, as well as tribes. So how we mitigate that is we're having female uh, community engagements and those are every Thursday um, with only females and then on Mondays it's males and females. I am Specialist Kiana Santa Maria, and I'm from 377. Well, I personally have noticed that the females at the beginning, when I first came, they weren't really coming out of the tents. They were kind of really to themselves. Um, and then once, um, as the days went on, that we've seen the female interaction go way up. So they're actually communicating with us and willing to come out and play or talk to us. Um, the females have come up to us um, asking us if we're able to get them certain feminine products and we've passed it up um, through the chain of command to get those and we actually have a station set up with the medics um, at their station for them to be able to get those products. It's an amazing feeling to have these children, you know, like with the language barrier, we don't know what they're saying, they don't know what we're saying, but they're always so excited to see us and that honestly, like for some of us, it fills, it fills our hearts because we know that they see us as a positive uh, role model for them.